To set up the development environment, you need to install several tools. So let us start with the most important one. The .NET SDK or the Software Development Kit and Runtime are essential for developing and running .NET applications. They do provide the necessary libraries and tools. To install the latest .NET SDK and Runtime, you need to navigate to .NET.Microsoft.com and then scroll down here. The current latest version is the .NET 8. So you just click in here, .NET SDK. You simply download it and install it. And I have already downloaded and installed the .NET SDK and Runtime. So I'm just going to stop the download. And after you have installed, to verify that the installation was successful, you can go to the command prompt. And then in here, you can just type .NET. If you get the options below, you can just then type .NET list and then SDKs to see all the installed SDKs. And you see that I do have multiple versions of .NET installed, including the latest version, which is version 8.0. And if you want to see the run times, then you can just run the .NET list and then run times command. You see that I have already installed the .NET version 8 runtime. So make sure that you always install the latest version because then you have access to the latest features and improvements. The next tool is the Visual Studio. I'll be using Visual Studio Community Edition and to download Visual Studio, you can just go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. In here, you need to scroll down and you can choose one of the versions. I have already installed the community version because it's a free version and it does have whatever features I need for the app. The next you have the SQL Server Express. We did say that we are going to initially use a local SQL database. So for that, you need to install the SQL Express. And here you can just navigate to Microsoft.com and then SQL Server, then SQL Server Downloads. Scroll down in here. You have multiple versions. You can download the Express version, which is a free edition of the SQL Server. So we are going to initially use the local SQL Server database, but by the end of the course, we are going to learn how to use the Azure SQL database. Another important tool that I'm going to use is the Azure Data Studio. And this is a free cross-platform database tool that is really useful when you want to work with different databases, including SQL Server. Now you can either manage the data using the Azure Data Studio. You can also install the SQL Server Management Studio or you can just use Visual Studio. I'm going to show you how you can use both the Azure Data Studio and also the Visual Studio. And the last tool is GitHub for desktop. This is just a client app that you can install in your machine and you can manage the GitHub repositories from this tool. Now you can either use GitHub for desktop tool or you can use Visual Studio. I'm going to show how you can use both of them. Since I have installed all these tools, I'm just going to open Visual Studio and create the solution. In here, from the options that I have on the right, I'm going to select create a new project. And we are going to start with the MVC project. So for that, I'll just search in here model view controller and I get multiple options including so we have the ASP.NET Core Web app model view controller and then down here you also have the same template but with F sharp so make sure that you select the one with C sharp as a programming language because we said that we're going to use C sharp as our programming language then I'll click next in here, I need to provide both a project name and a solution name. And the difference between a project and a solution is that a solution can have multiple projects. So, so think of a solution as the whole app. And then this app can have multiple projects that do work with each other to have the final product. I'm going to name this project the shortly.client because this is going to be the client app or the admin portal. 
and then the solution name is going to be just shortly. Now let us click next. And here I'm not going to select any authentication types because we're going to add the authentication on the upcoming parts. And as the .NET framework, I'm going to use the current latest one, which is the .NET 8. And I click the create button. If I go here to the solution explorer, I'm going to see that I have the solution shortly and then shortly.client, which is the default empty MVC app. And then next, we are going to create another project within the same solution, add new project. Now we are going to search for web API. I'm going to select the ASP.NET Core web API and then click next. We are going to name this shortly dot redirect because this is going to be the redirect app which we are going to use to redirect the users to the original link and then click next we're not going to have any authentication type in here we are going to configure for https we are going to enable open api support which means it will use swagger to document our api but we're not going to use controllers because we want to have a simple app without any controllers so this is now basically going to be a minimal api i'll click create this project is also created and the third project is going to be the data project which is the one that is going to have all the entity framework related code so add then a new project just going to search in here for just a class Going to create a class library then go to next we are going to name this project the shortly.data project and then click the next button the same way i'm going to use the latest.net framework and then click the create button so these are three empty projects and we are going to use these projects throughout this course